hello good day to everyone who is watching this video and today we will solve the questions of gate 2001 and we will see the network theory okay that is or you can write it down as network theory okay so yeah so just don't worry about anything just go to our website electrical diaries dot in okay and then i've already uh, typed in the questions so i will just search the question first question of gate 2001 so this is our first question uh, the incandescent light bulbs of 40 watt and 60 watt are connected in series across the mains okay then okay we have to see how much the bulb consumes okay then the bulb together the bulb consumes uh, 100 watt and uh, the bulb together consumes 50 watt 60 watt bulb goes brighter 40 watt bulb goes brighter okay okay see now uh, one thing that strikes in my mind so just see that how i how do i approach the question and how you have to approach the question okay so we have two incandescent bulbs that is one is of 40 watts other is of 60 watt now they are connected in series see the bulbs are usually what or usually the loads are connected in parallel okay so that is why the equal voltage is applied to those loads and then they will uh, dissipate the power accordingly so 40 watt and 60 watt these bulbs will dissipate if they were if they would have been connected in the parallel connection okay so then only your option a would be correct so option a is ruled out because your bulbs are connected in let me say these are your bulbs b1 and b2 this consumes 40 watt and this consumes 60 watt and he is saying that it is connected to a mains maybe uh, you could uh, say that the mains is v okay now the resistance of bulb b1b let it be r1 and the resistance of bulb b2b r2 the bulb together consumes uh, 50 watt no this we will see okay first we have to find out the current in this circuit then only we could uh, analyze that uh, how much what is the correct answer and which bulb glows brighter this we have to see so the brighter you know that the bulb that will dissipate the larger power will dissipate will glow brighter okay so that is the simple common sense logic now you'll have to see that uh, either bulb b1 will dissipate greater power or b2 like they won't dissipate 40 watts because the voltage across each of these bulbs will be different okay so now first uh, let us find out the uh, relation between these uh, uh, resistances of these bulbs okay so we know that what is given to us is that v square by r1 if these were connected in parallel then v square by r1 is equal to 40 and v square by r2 is equal to 60 this is given to us now from this thing we could easily see analyze one thing see we know that from the observation we could see that v square by r2 is greater than v square by r1 now 1 upon r2 is greater than 1 upon r1 so this implies what that r2 is less than r1 so one result i have got is that your r2 is greater than r1 that is the resistance of bulb b2 is greater than resistance of bulb b1 now we know that in series connection the current will be same across these bulbs so what you will do is i square r1 will be something and i square r2 will be something we have to find the relation between these two okay so how we will uh, do this what we will do is we will we know that r2 is less than r1 okay so if you multiply by i square both sides then i square r2 is less than i square r1 so what we get to know is that your bulb b1 will dissipate higher power in this case 
by this relation I came to know that, that your bulb B1 will dissipate higher power than the bulb B2. So this means that your bulb B1 will glow brighter. B1 is 40 watt bulb will grow glow brighter. Okay. And uh, so the option C is not, not only one of the option is correct. So D is correct answer. B we could not uh, find out because of the less data given. So B is already automatically ruled out. So option D is the correct answer. So let us see. If we have find it right. Yes. So for the series connection. So the bulb resistance with 40 watt bulb glows brighter than 60 watt bulb as more than more energy dissipated by the 40 watt bulb. Simple. Okay. So simple. Just go after read the question and see what you could infer. Just keep moving your pen. You have to solve the questions. Okay. Okay. So now again we go to the next. See that's how you can find every question on our website. Now the next question is this one. Let me search it out. Consider the star network. Yes. So this is the question. Okay. So now this is a simple question. I don't think I will uh, solve. Uh, uh, I will just give you the trick. Uh, it is already solved here. Consider the star network shown in the figure. The resistance between the terminals A, B, and C. A, B, A, and B with C open is six ohms. Okay. Now, uh, see, this is a very simple question. I will just uh, go with this figure only. Okay. Let's see. Now it is saying that rest if your resistances A and B are open, so uh, sorry C is open, so only the resistance R A plus R B is given to you as six ohms. That is equivalent circuit will be this. Similarly, when A is open, then your R B plus R C is equal to eleven. So we have got three equations and three variables. So we are solving these one, two, and three. We can easily find out the answer. So very simple question. No need me to solve it again. Okay. So that is how your second question of the day is solved. Now let me search the third one. So your third question is a unit step voltage, a unit step, yes. <sighs> so your question is a unit step voltage is applied at T is equal to 0 to a <coughs> A unit step voltage applied at t is equal to zero to a series RL circuit with zero initial conditions. Okay, it is possible for the current to be oscillatory. Uh, so the first option by option we will go. See in the RL circuit is the what? It is the first order circuit. Okay, so it is the first order circuit. Now. Uh, uh, it's given that zero initial conditions okay that is uh, your uh, current or voltage across the inductor at zero minus is equal to zero vl zero minus is equal to zero initial conditions for the inductors are always current okay so it is possible for the current to be oscillatory see in the first order circuit we all know that your current can never be oscillatory by the response of the first order circuit okay so first one was uh, not there because we know that the, for the first order circuit the current is exponential in the nature. Okay, from the expression and from the curves. Uh, this is uh, we can draw the simple RL circuit to make it more clear. We know that I L zero minus is equal to zero is equal to I L zero plus. So the current in the circuit at t is equal to zero plus is zero. 
so the voltage drop across the resistor at t is equal to zero plus will be zero. Okay, we are at zero plus will be equal to zero, so this option is correct. Energy stored in the inductor at the steady state is zero. No, energy stored in the inductor energy will be fully charged in the steady state. Resistor current eventually falls to zero. No, because the current the inductor at the steady state will behave like a short circuit, so the current will never fall to zero. So this is also wrong. So option B is the correct answer. Simple. In this question, we could easily understand that we have to go by the options because no such data is given. Always remember your focus is to solve the questions. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, so this is done now. Uh, let me search the next question. And you can also find the answers written on our website also, just for your references. Okay, search for any question like this and you will get it. So in a series RLC circuit at the uh, resonance, the magnitude of the voltage depends developed across the capacitor. Okay is always zero or uh, we will see the option so in uh, such questions always try to draw the circuit and uh, I, I will try to explain it this here only let me zoom the screen okay so the current in series rl circuit uh, cv draw simple rlc circuit r j x l minus j x c i okay so i is equal to what v upon r plus simple by the ohm's law v upon r plus j x l minus x c now under resonance condition we all know that x l equal to x c see simple i draw the circuit i know what happens under resonance x l is equal to x c see maximum questions will be solved by this simple thing that under resonance your x l is equal to x c okay so now is asking the voltage developed across the capacitor we have to see the voltage developed across the capacitor okay so i is equal to v by r that is in phase with the voltage source our current under resonance will be in phase with the voltage source so the voltage across the capacitor will be i into minus j x c this is i into minus j x c you all know that your capacitive impedance is written by minus j x c okay and then your v c is what i is equal to v by r so v by r into minus j x c that is Vxc by R at an angle minus 90 degrees. So if now this is your capacitor voltage that is it is lagging by minus it is lagging by it is at angle minus 90 degrees that is it is lagging by the 90 degrees from the our source voltage. Okay now let us see the options is always zero no first is ruled out can never be greater than the input voltage. So let us see if xc is greater than r then vc is greater than v so it is saying that your vc can never be greater than v but if your magnitude of xc is less than r then yes your vc could be greater than v so option 3 is correct and it is 90 degree out of phase with the input voltage that is true that we could see can be greater than the input voltage and is in phase with the input voltage? No. We could also see that it is at an angle minus 90 degrees. Okay. So, uh, for this question, you should have known the phasor algebra. Okay. So, in the description links, I will uh, link you the uh, codes, uh, the videos, the lecture series videos of the circuit theory that I have developed on uh, this on our youtube channel only so you could uh, study those concepts if you are missing in that okay simple so this is done so in this question it's saying that a 240 single phase ac source is connected to a load with an impedance of 10 at an angle 60 degree okay so i will just uh, draw the figure figures are usually good for such questions Okay, it's saying a 240 single phase AC source, 240 volts single phase AC source is connected to a load with an impedance of 10 at an angle 60 degrees. A capacitor is connected parallel with the load. A capacitor is connected parallel with the load. 
वेबसाइट सप्लाई वन टू फाइव जीरो वी ए आर ओके दिस कैपेसिटर इज सप्लाइंग दन टू फाइव जीरो वी ए आर दैट इज द रिएक्टिव पावर ऑफ द कैपेसिटर अप्लाइड बाय द कैपेसिटर इज गिवेन टू अस द रियल पावर सप्लाइड बाय द सोर्सेस वी हैव टू फाइंड द रियल पावर सप्लाइड बाय द सोर्स ओके सी नाउ आफ्टर रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन वन थिंग स्ट्राइक्स इन माई माइंड इज दैट आई हैव टू थिंक इन सम डिफरेंट वे सो सी नाउ लेट एस सी वॉट इज गिवेन टू मी आई एम गिवेन दी वोल्टेज आई एम गिविंग दी लोड इम्पिडेंस आई एम गिविंग दी रिएक्टिव पावर सप्लाइड बाई दी कैपेसिटर नाउ इज आस्किंग मी दी रियल पावर ओके नाउ फ्रॉम रियल पावर वन थिंग इज वेरी मच क्लियर टू मी दैट योर कैपेसिटर वोट एब्जॉर्ब एनी रियल पावर दैट इज सप्लाइड बाय दिस लोड सो From the from this voltage source, no real power will be supplied to this capacitor. So only the real power will be absorbed by the this load. Okay, and these are connected in parallel. So one thing is uh, very much clear to me that I can easily find out the if I find out the current uh, passing through this load, and then I could easily find out the what the real power. Real power is given by P is equal to V into I cos phi. Okay. So I have to find the current through this load. So current is what V by ZL that is 240 at an angle zero divided by 10 at an angle 60. So it will be 24 at an angle minus 60 degrees. Okay, this is your I. So your real power is what V is as it is in parallel 240. Magnitude you will take remember this magnitude. Okay, I is your 24 into Cos phi is cos 60 degrees. Cos 60 is what? 1 by 2. Yes. So your answer will be 12 by 0, 12 4 by 12 4 by 12 4 by 12 is 48. 84 by 12 by 12 16 1680. Okay. Uh, I did some mistake. 20 40. Two into twelve zero zero into forty eight eight four twelve to the twenty four two eight twenty eight sorry two eight eight zero watts. Okay, so simple question. Just you have to think uh, that what is asked. Okay, so from this I got out that how I will solve the question. Okay, so that is the important thing. Okay, so our next question is determine the resonance frequency and the Q factor of the circuit shown in the figure. Okay, so yes, so determine the resonance frequency and the Q factor of the circuit shown in the figure. Now it's a dot question. Okay. Now one thing I have strikes in my mind that I have to use uh, take in use this L one L two M R and C. So I will do like this. See what I did is I assume the current and voltage on both the sides. Okay. Now with the dot polarity, you have to uh, you must know some assumptions that what is the conventional dot polarity dot what is the dot polarity conventions. So if the current is entering on the one side into the dot, then and on the other side is also entering into the dot, then you take it as the positive. Okay. That is why I have taken. If you write this V1 as J omega L1 I1 plus J omega M I2. Okay. And here also it is taken plus J omega M I1. Why? Because for the L2 or the V2, the current is entering into the dot. And for the L1 also the current is entering into the dot. So that is why I have taken plus here. Okay. So uh, if you want more clarity on this, then you can go to my lecture series of network theory on this uh, YouTube channel only. I will share the link in the description. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. So now it's given that output side is short circuited. So V2 is equal to zero. So J omega to L two I two plus J omega M I one is equal to zero. I two minus is equal to minus M by L two I one. Okay. So from one and three we can find out the B one. Okay. So this plus is the typo. Please ignore this plus sign where my cursor is. 
there is no plus here as I have taken j omega common out of these. So we have got the L equivalent. So L equivalent is this thing. So resonance frequency is one of f naught is equal to one upon two pi under root L equivalent c. And quality factor is omega L equivalent by R for the series RLC circuit because we have reduced this circuit to simple series RLC circuit. Okay. So when it was asking the resonance frequency and two factor, it is a theoretical question not asked nowadays. But yes, so the, but the important concept that we could reduce the circuit and uh, just by using some mathematical expressions, I found the L equivalent and uh, then I came to this. And there are direct formulas for this L equivalent also. If you want to learn them, you could uh, learn for various for opposite dot convention, the formula will change. So that is also one of the thing. Okay. So yeah. So that's all with this question. Let us move to the next. A passive two port network is in a steady state. Compared to its input, the steady state output can never offer. Uh, see by the options we can easily see that for by the energy conservation, your circuit output can never be greater than your input power. Okay. So that could not never be possible. So option C is the correct answer. So, okay, so just these options are just to, be in, to confuse you. So if you have some basic ideas, then you can easily solve this problem. Okay. So next. So next question is given to copper inductor one L two, their mutual inductance M satisfied. So this is the very simple formula based question. So the answer for this question is you must remember this that m should always be less than equal to under root l1 l2 okay so that is the answer option d where k is the coupling coefficient and uh, coupling constant depends on the coupling between two inductances maximum value of this k could be 1 okay so m less than equal to under root l1 l2 is the uh, standard you can find the derivation in the standard book but no need for the gate you have to solve the problem and this is the very common formula many questions are based on this okay so thank you and have a nice day uh, this network questions of gate 2001 are over if you have any doubts you can post in the comments here or anywhere on the youtube or here on our website we will answer those and if you want to ask anything then you can ask uh, here and ask your doubt and yes you can also donate us if you are liking and if you want to support our work okay so thank you and have a nice day